A couple weeks ago, I made a video called More Places I Forgot in OSRS, and you guys really enjoyed it. I said that I sort of didn't know many other places to put in any more of those videos, because I pretty much explored the entire map and, I guess, relearned and remembered everything. So I asked you guys to sort of come up with new ideas for sort of videos of rediscovering things or telling you guys things you might not know about RuneScape, and somebody commented, useful NPC shops that you maybe didn't know existed. I went to the 07 wiki and discovered that there are literally hundreds of NPC shops out there, and I mean, I know there's a lot, but there's many out there that that I totally forgot existed or I didn't even know sold like certain items which is really cool so that's what I'm going to present to you guys today I've got some cool NPC shops for you again just want to reiterate that you may know all of these are there if you know all of these shops good for you 10 out of 10 gold star but there may be some people out there who don't and I just want to present a huge variety and hopefully at least one of these shops will be new to you which will be my goal for this video but anyways guys enjoy some uh, useful or forgotten NPC shops whatever you want to call it I'm going to go through these in sort of a quicker fashion I will present like items that you can make profit off of if you sell them in the grand exchange which is what many people sort of want to see in these NPC shops nice juicy profit when you sell it back to the grand exchange but some other cool random items like clothing just other random stuff but uh, yeah let's go to it after completing royal trouble you guys have access to this miscellaneous clothes store run by Hala you just have to go down the ladder in miscellaneous and you have access to the shop right here in our clothes store and there's a bunch of random clothes items in here that you can find Fremnik shirts of different colors skirts and shirts and shorts of different colors you guys may see these around the game and not know where they come from well this is one of the shops Vermundi's clothes stall and Keldegrim also sells these shirts and skirts and tops with this sort of weirdish red trim to it which looks I don't know, pretty pukish brown to me. And then she also sells some silk for 39 coins. On the other side of Keldegrim, we have Agmundi's quality clothes, which is pretty much the things you guys already saw. They're just higher quality, apparently. Agmundi is the sister of Vermundi, who you guys just saw. And these are just, again, different colors, tan, blue, and pink. You guys can all make profit of these on the Grand Exchange. Every single item here goes for two to 3,000 GP, and you can buy them for a lot cheaper than that. You just have to wait for them to sell, obviously. But these are where the majority of these clothes come from. This shop, the other shop, and then the one in Miscellanea. Aurel's General Store Shop in Bergerot is a pretty boring shop other than the fact that you can buy thin snails here for 6 GP each, and you can sell them for up to 800 GP on the Grand Exchange, so not bad profit there. Davin, or Devon here, has a lovely collection of amulets and holy symbols. Oh wait, he doesn't stock any of them. Your store is trash, Davon. Dodgy Mike's second-hand clothing store on Mostly Harmus sells a huge variety of pirate clothing, a bunch of the striped pirate shirt, pirate boots, bandanas, which you guys might see for like peers when they're PKing, I'm not sure. Fashion Escape is at its finest in this store. A bunch of these actually go for tens of thousands of GP on the Grand Exchange, especially the leggings for some reason. You might need them for clues, I'm not totally sure. But if you guys ever want to buy out the shop and see if you make any profit off of it, I think that'd be something really cool to try out. But yeah, a bunch of power clothing here for you if you ever are feeling aroused. Ah, oh, never mind. Kabuti... <laughs> It is really hard to laugh without saying that name. I don't know why. I'm 12 years old. Kabuti's Tabawane Cooperative is a very unique store because it sells very unique items in the tribal top, villager robe, villager hats, villager sandals, villager armbands. Awesome like stuff, really. Stuff you don't even see in this game. I don't even know half this stuff existed, to be honest. And the color scheme of these look just sexy, man. If you wore these, dude, you'd be just... You'd, Ara's girlfriends would come in, man. The thing is, all these items, I believe, are bought with trading sticks. So you have to get trading sticks before you purchase any of these items. I think some of them are tradable in the Grand Exchange. I'm not really sure what they go for. I don't even think these are, to be honest, but I know these are, obviously. I believe the shop is mainly used by Iron Men, if I'm not mistaken. But for you guys who didn't know, really cool items in here and really cool shop. The Garden Center in Faldor Park has a huge variety of just trees. All these bagged trees. A bagged dead tree, a bagged plant to a thorny hedge. What else we got? Bagged yew tree. All of these go for profit in the Grand Exchange. And you can, I think, buy one of every one and make it like 30 to 40k profit if they sell. I'm not really sure if they sell right away, but every single one you actually make a profit off of. But really cool shop. 20 of each are stocked. Didn't even know it existed, to be honest. Many higher level construction items require these items here. The marble block, gold leaf, and magic stone to build them. They're obviously expensive because these things are very expensive. This is the source of all of those items, the marble block, gold leaf, and magic stone. You actually do make profit off of every single item in this shop. You make five to 10K profit when you sell it back to the Grand Exchange. So again, if you have some money to spare and want to test it out, come to the Keldegrim Stonemason. But yeah, this is a cool shop. This is pretty much where the entire supply came from. There's 20 stock for these and 10 for these. But yeah, really cool that it's here. The Legends Guild, a guild meant for the most prestigious members on this game, has a general store run by Fionella, which stocks swordfish, apple pie, regular attack potions, and steel arrows. Why? The Dorgeshkun Marketplace, which is one of the coolest areas in the game, I really think they should do an update to this place because it's really cool, but it's so unvisited because there's really 
nothing to do here, has a marketplace here in the middle, like I said, and this guy Miltog here sells a huge variety of lamps. Not all of these are stocked, but for Iron Man who needs something like a bullseye lantern, an empty oil lantern, empty loyal lamp, there's a mining helmet here, I think is needed for a clue maybe. Sell some random stuff here, you can also sell stuff to him for a nice profit, 630 coins if you pickpocket from one of the goblins here. But yeah, Miltog, I like your shop. Rasolo the Wandering Merchant south of Baxtorian Falls has a huge random variety of items, like all the way from a dragon dagger, to a flam tear hammer, papyrus, instruction manuals, limestone bricks, black toy horsey. I don't know why, he's a merchant, he's trying to make profit off these items, but if you're ever in need of any of these items and you're in the area, come to Rosolo the Wandering Merchant because he's got you covered, man. If you guys ever feel like trying some monkey nuts, Solihib's food stall in Apatol sells a huge stock of monkey nuts, bananas, banana stew, and monkey bars. These two are very delicious, I would combine, but yeah, monkey nuts can be found on Apatol at Salib's food stall. Get your monkey nuts here. If you guys watch my unusual money making method videos, you guys will recognize this one. This is Trader Sven's black market goods in Meyer Ditch. He sells citizen tops, trousers, and shoes, and also Vire Watch top legs and shoes. These really don't have anything special other than I think you get caught less if you wear some of these. I'm not totally sure. They are, I guess, sort of fashion scape for some people, but they do actually make profit on the grand exchange. But these six items, really random, but there is a market in Meyerditch, a place where nobody ever goes. And for the final NPC shop, we have Yursa's Accoutrements. I think I said that right. I'm proud of myself if that is correct. If it's not, I'm sorry. But anyway, she sells a bunch of these random Fremnik clothing. Her shop is also very colorful due to the fact we have all these random capes in here. Look at all these random colored capes, man. Looks sick. A Fremnik yellow cloak, that is just gold fashion scape right there. A full green outfit, Fremnik shirts of different colors. Not bad. Now you guys will like to hear that all these items actually make you profit. They all go for over a thousand GP on the Grand Exchange, probably because they aren't traded that much, but people do buy them. They are traded every single day. So if you're ever looking to make a quick profit, come to Yursa's Accoutrements. Also a very weird name store, man. All right, that's it for the NPC shops for this episode. There are a lot of NPC shops I had to go through. Like the wiki literally, like I said, lists hundreds, but a bunch of them you guys know. So I didn't really know if you guys would know these or not. I didn't know a couple of them. So I figure you guys might not know a couple of them. As well, but if I did miss any really cool ones or there are any out there that I didn't put in this video, make sure to tell me in the comments and I'll make sure to put them in another video. I don't know if I have enough to make another video, but maybe next cool things or tips video I make, I'll make sure to include it in there. Sort of a weirdest video to put out. I don't even know if you guys would expect me to put out a video like this, or maybe you would. I don't know. I just sort of like it when we learn new things about a game that we've played for so long, like little theories or Easter eggs or just things, you know, like I just put out this video. Shops that you maybe you didn't go to for a long time since you were a kid. You forgot it totally existed. But I love making these videos, and for the most part, you guys seem to enjoy them. So make sure to drop a like and a comment if you guys did enjoy it, and leave some suggestions for new videos you guys want me to make about just, I don't know, forgotten things in old school. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one, and peace. Wow.